While in New York, I had the opportunity to go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. I've gone to New York a few times now, but on this trip, I made it a priority to go to the Met for this assignment. I had been prior to taking this class, but felt it would be a far better experience this time around, as I had been getting a better understanding of art from this class. The Metropolitan Museum of Art holds over 5,000 years of art from various parts of the world. It was founded in 1870 by individuals who felt the American people should have a place to learn about art. It showcases art from various ages and from all over the globe, offering guests a holistic experience. The Met is one of the largest museums in the world, making making it a popular tourist attraction. It often has events and exhibitions that display artwork from certain individuals slash time periods. This paper focuses on the exhibition called Vertical of Color by Matisse Durain and the Origins of Fauvism. Henry Matisse was a French artist who was well known in the 20th century for his use of a bright color palette. He was primarily a painter, but throughout his career, he was also a drawer, sculptor, and printmaker. He did still life, portraiture, landscape, studio interiors, etc. The Met notes that several of Matisse's work focus on the female figure as that was a favorite subject of his. In 1905, he partnered with André Durain to create art in a style that is known as Fauvism. Fauvism is a style of painting that prioritizes an individual's expression and intuition more than it does academic theory or subject matter. It is known for its vibrant, non-naturalistic paint colors and broad brushstrokes. Matisse drew and painted from nature, which is different from artists like Picasso who based their work off imagination. His work influenced modern art by creating a new direction for artists to take, one far more colorful and energetic. Throughout his time in Paris, Matisse created several works of art, one of which was The Open Window in 1905. So this here is Open Window by Henry Matisse. This painting explodes color to the point where critiques find it makes the painting look unfinished. As we can see, this painting is depicting a view from his window outlooking a harbor along the southern coast of France. Matisse created his works in a way that used color as a base for his perspective of nature. The meaning he placed on colors doesn't necessarily align with what we have been taught. Matisse mentions that when he puts green, it's not grass. When he puts blue, it's not the sky. We see this in the painting with the water being various shades of pink. The colors in this painting feature a mixture of pastel with the light blue in the sky and more vivid colors like the red window outline. When looking at this painting, you don't ever forget that it is a painting because of how bright and flat it is. This was different from the paintings being made at the time that all created the illusion of depth. With so much color, we also see many lines and rectangles in Matisse's open window painting. It features a series of frames that are within more frames. The National Art Gallery of Art notes that The wall contains the window, the window frames the middle ground, and the balcony crops the landscape. This piece created a new direction for modern art as it promoted the idea that paintings develop an increasing autonomy from the things they depict. At the time, this undermined the theory of a painting being a window. Matisse wanted his art to make you feel the level of comfort you would feel when on a comfortable armchair. In using rectangles and squares, a base is provided giving a sense of stability. This stability can provide the viewer comfort and peace. In regards to light sources, the brightest area of this painting is the center where the boats are. Part of what makes this stand out in a painting full of color is the window frames that help guide you to the boats. He rejected the traditional use of light coming from an angle and being angelic. He more so uses the frames and color to zero in on the center without you ever forgetting that it is a painting of a window and not an actual window.
On the same trip to Collier, Andre Durain also created artworks that were influential to modern art. He was a French artist who experimented with different styles, including Fauvism and Cubism. He was primarily known for his paintings, but he was also a sculptor, printmaker, and a designer. Durain used a vibrant color palette to create works like the fishing boats Collier. The painting Fishing Boats is full of color and captures Durain's Vilvish style. He uses color as a way to convey emotions, not to mirror a reality. This style of painting shifted art into a new direction that differed from realism. Fovis used unnatural colors to give emotional meaning to the color rather than using the typical represent representation of that color. When looking at the painting, we first noticed the two men at the bottom corner looking over the town from a higher vantage point. We are able to see people working below along with the lined up boats. We see vibrant orange colors as well as green and blue. The boats in the center are white, which shifts your attention to them. Fishing Boats contains dimension and diagonal recession. There are several lines in this painting, specifically with the boats. They are mostly diagonal, suggesting movement as they are getting ready to go fish. There is some shadowing on the boats, suggesting the light is coming from the left-hand side. I chose these paintings in particular because of their rich cultural significance. Henry Matisse's One Window was part of a collection that helped define modern art today. His style combines the art style of the past while bringing life and energy to it. Its use of color pushed future artists like Milton Avery, Sherry Levine, Judy Peff, and etc. to emphasize color and pattern. Andre Durain's fishing boats also influenced artists in the 20th century and helped shift art in a new direction. Both of these artists produced art that led to the movement known as Fauvism. This shift in art is seen today where artists aren't afraid to experiment with color or feel they have to stick with a certain style. I specifically chose Matisse because of how frequent I see his work, whether it's on a t-shirt, the show I'm watching, or all over my Pinterest. His works along with Andre Durain's are still being recognized to this day for how influential they were to the art of today.